Today I'm going to be demoing a new uh, tail rack for my Sierra 300L Rally. Um, and it's from a company called Kemimoto, and they're the ones who made the tail tidy that is currently on my bike. And it's been great, really good quality, so I'm excited to uh, give this new rack a try. Um, I haven't looked at it yet, haven't even opened the box yet, so we're going to check it out right now. All right, so it comes wrapped in bubble wrap. And this is, feels like steel, I'm pretty sure it's steel, and it's uh, powder coated, which is nice. A really even finish. Uh, the welds look solid to me. Um, the, the holes on it are apparently spaced just perfectly for like a Rotopax type of uh, attachment. And I do have a Rotopax um, attacher and, and a tank down there in the garage. So we'll give that a try as I get it installed. Let me get this foam off. So yeah, first impressions, it looks uh, looks solid to me. Um, I like that the uh, rim around it is rounded uh, because it, you know, when you, when you hook on straps, it's not going to be abrasive to the edge. There's no corners for it to rub on. Um, hopefully you can see this. It's kind of a standard style and shape. Um, and let's see what else we got in here. I imagine some hardware and instructions. Yeah, just a couple of bolts and it looks like a couple of spacers. Instructions look very straightforward. Now this, uh, this rack is compatible with every CRF 300L and CRF 300L Rally to date um, from 2021 to 2023, that's as to date as they are at the filming of this video. So we're gonna head down into my garage and install it. I expect it to be pretty quick and easy. Before that, I do want to weigh it for those of you who are concerned about such things. So the bolts, I am gonna be taking out the stock bolts and replacing them with these. So that should pretty much break even. So I'll just be weighing the rack itself, which weighs three pounds, 3.8 ounces, so three pounds, four ounces. And in grams for all you non-United States people, we're at 1,466 grams, one kilogram, 460, I don't know how you say that, 1,468 grams. So yeah, it, but it's it's chunky, it's, uh, it's solid. I expect it'll hold up just fine. So let's go install it. All right, so here we have the tail end of my Sierra 300L Rally. Um, and here is where the rack's going to go. Obviously, I'll need to take out these stock bolts, um, and then this will just fit right in. Uh, there's going to be two, it uh, looks like, nylon spacers uh, between this back bracket and the, and the bike, and that's it. Four bolts, four washers, and two spacers. And I'm hoping, just by looking at this, what I'm really hoping with this rack is that it's going to give me enough space to use this uh, bar as a handhold, because I really like that feature on um, tail racks for when you tip the bike over. So I'm going to start by removing these stock bolts. Um, I'm just going to show this one side because it's identical on the other. These are six mil hex bolts, and uh, I've taken these out before. If you haven't, sometimes they are in there really, really tight from the factory. Um, so just be aware of that. For me, three of them came out pretty easily the first time I took them out, and one of them uh, did not. So uh, I there's there's these little grommet things uh, on factory. I think I'm going to leave those in there. I think they'll stay. Uh, we'll see. Like I said, this uh, these come out easily for me. If they're not so easy for you, 
uh, you know, just kind of keep at it. Use some elbow grease. Um, they do come out. It's just they're really torqued on there from factory or or dealers. I'm not sure who who does this part. All right, and these um, these four bolts from the factory are all identical, so you don't need to, if you're saving them in case you want to go back to stock, you don't need to, you know, pay attention to the order that you pulled them off. There's also black grommets for the back side here. So again, I'm going to I'm gonna leave all the grommets in, at least that's my plan, unless it doesn't fit. And here's the hardware you get. Again, all it is is two long bolts. Those go in the front, two short bolts for the back, a washer for each bolt, and then these spacers uh, for the back. So again, I'm going to keep this grommet thing. I hope that's really a grommet. I don't, I don't know what you call these things, but these little spacer washer things. Um, I'm going to keep them in, and we'll see if they fit that way. It looks like they do. And then we go washer, long bolt for the front. And hopefully the threads just match up fine. They do. Same thing on this side, long bolt, washer, going through the rack, through the factory grommet spacer thing. And I'm not gonna, just hand tightening them for now. And then on the back, again, we still have the, the factory uh, grommet thing there. Then we're going short bolt, washer, through the rack, and then we have this spacer here that uh, gives it the proper distance between the rack and the bike. Again, that goes in pretty easily. Same thing on this side, short bolt, washer, rack, spacer, factory spacer grommet thing. All right, and these uh, bolts that come from Kemimoto also are six mil hex bolts, so exactly the same as what you took off. And they looked a little wide. I mean, the, the, the brackets looked a little bit wide to me, but as I tightened up these bolts, it kind of just closed them in perfectly. So the fitment seems to be good to me. Kind of the same thing. These were a little bit spread out, but as I tighten in the bolts, it just clamps in just fine. And I'm happy to say, I've got kind of medium size, medium large hands, and there is plenty of room for me to grab this as a handle, which I'm very happy to see. And fairly minimalistic um, style. Again, it's it's a style you've probably seen before. There's uh, other companies that make this kind of shape uh, rack, so it'll look familiar that way. And like I said, these holes are supposed to match up with the uh, Rotopax type um, container options. So I'm gonna check that out now. Of course, if you wanna do this, you probably want to put this on before you uh, clamp it down because it'll be a little bit tricky to get these bolts under here. I actually am not going to keep this mounted here because I don't need an extra fuel pack on this rally because it's got a big enough tank for me, but I just want to kind of see the sizing for the roto packs. And I can tell that they do fit just fine. Let me go grab a, a gas tank in case you're curious to see how that looks. So we'll unscrew this. Drop this on. And 
and that seems to fit great. And it looks to me like if you'd prefer to mount it this way, so you twist your uh, tank 180 degrees, I believe you can do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna test that as well. Okay, yep. So this mounting portion fits just fine. Twisted 180 degrees as well, the holes match up with it. So that if you prefer your auxiliary tank mounted this way, which I actually probably would to give my back a little bit more room, then it uh, works just great. And I still even have room to grab these bars to use for a handle if I need to pick up my bike. Again, if you actually are going to use a mounting point like this, I would mount it before you mount the rack, just because it's a little bit tricky to get under here um, and tighten the bolts. You definitely could do it. Um, just need kind of an open-ended wrench or something that would give you access in this limited space. And that's true of any rack that you use this type of mount on. And I don't think I'll take the time to actually strap this on right now, but if you want an idea of what it looks like with a bag on it, that is what it looks like. So this, my, my bag completely covers it up. Um, and again, it, the, the straps could go all the way under and connect under here because there's space underneath the, the rack. Lots of options for where you can put the straps. So yeah, just overall a um, pretty slick rack, easy to mount, and lots of versatility with what you can do with it. In fact, I've got a couple of uh, different accessories that they sent me to try out on this rack. So look for those in videos that will be coming out shortly. I've got like a sissy bar thing and like a, a plate that, that is compatible with these holes. So it makes it really easy to mount like a milk crate or, um, you know, a hard box or something like that. So I will show you those in videos shortly to come. In the meantime, I'm going to get a little bit of footage of this in action so you can see. All right, and the last thing I wanna do before I finish up the video is compare this rack to the rack that I previously had installed. If you've seen my other videos, you probably are aware of this, that I've been using this plastic rack from AXP Racing. Um, and it's it's been a great rack, uh, but I just wanna compare the two. And would I choose this one or this one if I was buying one today? The things that this, uh, AXP Racing uh, rack has going for it is it's very rugged. Um, I was worried about it being plastic. That's been not an issue at all. Um, but what I the whole reason I bought this was for these handles. They stick out and you can just grab those, tip your bike over. I've done that several times. Grab these handles and just pull the bike up. So that is the main reason I went with this one over something a little bit more uh, streamlined and small uh, because this one does stick out quite a bit, probably three inches farther on each side than this one from Kemimoto. So um, it's bigger, it's, it's chunkier because it's plastic. Um, weight wise, it's actually a little bit lighter. This comes in right at about three pounds. Uh, this is three pounds, four ounces. So quarter of a pound, four ounces, uh, pretty negligible in my opinion. This, uh, this one is considerably easier to mount. So, which isn't that big of a deal. You mount it once and you're done, other than you know taking it off to remove the seat and stuff like that. 
And the other thing that the AXP has going for it um, is the, the build quality is just perfect because it's it's molded plastic. So it's gonna be 100% perfect every time. Like if I look at this, I can see some little imperfections, nothing that's going to affect its function or sturdiness, but you know, it's hand welded, I think. Um, you know, if I was to put a level on this, I think maybe this plate is just a, it's just a hair uh, higher on this side than on this side. So just little things like that, that, um, you know, if that type of thing is going to bother you, maybe something like this that's molded exactly perfectly is going to more suit your taste. But um, again, the thing I loved about this is the handles. And this has very practical handholds that a lot of other racks that I looked at just didn't have. And the other huge factor that this one has going for it over this one is it's less than half the price. Um, this one, I think I had to order from Belgium or someplace overseas, overseas to me. I'm in the United States. This one um, kit comes from Amazon Prime. So, you know, if you're in the U.S. and you use Amazon, this is a great way to go. In the description of the video, I'll have a link to Amazon where you can buy this. Um, I believe they're going to give me a discount code too, so I'll put that in there. It's really reasonably priced as is, so um, good way to go. And yeah, I think if I was going to uh, buy a rack for the first time today, I would go with the Kemimoto just for price, for functionality, sturdiness. And I like the look of it, just this nice anodized steel look, uh, matches the bike really well. Really happy with it. And it happens to match my <laughs> tail tidy as well. Again, I'll be back soon with uh, a couple more videos on accessories that you can buy for this particular rack if you're so inclined. Uh, until then, I appreciate you watching my videos. Hope this has been helpful to somebody. Subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. Ride safe.